Hello everyone, this is Jamerica5288 and today we're gonna make hummus, but we're gonna make it with mung beans. I bought these during the, you know, the lockdown and they've been sitting in my cabinet for the longest and you know what? I need to use them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some hummus out of mung beans. I got this from the Asian food or the international aisle of the supermarket because at that time, there weren't any other beans in the supermarket. We were wiped out. <laughs> Oh, I hate looking back. So let's make our hummus with mung beans. Mung beans. Yay! <laughs> So here I am with these mung beans, you know, that have been around for, I don't know, a couple of years. They're dried beans, so they should be fine, and they were in a dark, cool place, so I don't see, I don't see any expiration date on these things. So we're gonna make some hummus with mung beans. Let's get to it. First things first, we need to soak these for at least four hours, preferably overnight. So I'm gonna put, I'm trying to open this thing up. I have water in this bowl, see the jiggle? I'm gonna pour my mung beans in. I'm gonna put a lid on top. It'll be a couple of hours and I'll come back and we'll get this thing started, okay? Soak them, minimum of four hours, preferably overnight. See By the way, to help this thing out, we're gonna put some salt in here. And I put about a half a tablespoon, teaspoon and a half, rustically. I'm gonna mix that around. And we're gonna cover it. See you in a couple of hours, or for you, a couple of seconds. So it's about nine hours later and I have some water on the stove. I put a little bit of salt in there and I have soaked my mung beans this entire time. They're right here waiting to go into the water. I'm gonna wait till the water comes to a boil and I'm gonna simmer these mung beans for a minimum of 10 minutes until they're done. Now they're already mushy because they've already, um, they've already absorbed a lot of water but I want to cook them prior to making the mung bean hummus, the green hummus and I hear it's really good. So let's wait till this comes to a boil and I'll bring you right back. So the water is boiling. And we're gonna turn it down to number two. We're gonna put our lentils in. And then set our timer for 10 minutes. While the mung beans are boiling, we need to get our other ingredients together. You need the mung beans, of course, that are soaked and simmered for 10 minutes. Soaked for at least nine hours and simmered. <laughs> you need about three tablespoons of tahini. And we made this on our other recipe, which is sesame seed and a seed oil that are blended together. Some coriander powder, some cumin powder, I need to get some garlic and we need some salt and some ice. So I'll be right back. While my mung beans are simmering, I'm gonna get five small pieces of garlic or three big pieces. I had small ones, so I'm just taking the skin off, taking my knife, smashing them, and the skin comes right off. Just like that, real easy. All of this stuff is going to go into the blender. Everything is going to the blender, except the, most of the water. I'm not gonna use the water. I still have to go and get some ice. So, let me open this thing up. I'm gonna put our garlic in there. I'm gonna go and get my mung beans out of the pot and put them into a strainer. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the mung beans. I'll try to get them in here without Getting them all over the counter. <laughs> and let's see, the tahini. We're going to use all of this tahini. 
Let me get a spoon. It's about three tablespoons of tahini. Three to four. Okay, I guess we used up all of that. Scrape in the jar. <laughs> Get it all out. I want it all. I want it all. All right. <laughs> Gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. <laughs> Gotta get some coriander powder. Put about a teaspoon of that in there. <clears throat> Here we are. Put that in. Get some cumin. About a teaspoon of that. Get some salt. Use Himalayan. Himalayan is just fine. We're not going to put a lot of salt in here because we salted the mung beans when we were cooking them. So I'm going to put about a teaspoon, yeah, about a teaspoon of salt. <clears throat> we are going to taste test this, so take the top part of your off of your blender or, or your food processor and blend. put the ice in because you don't want this stuff to continue. You don't want it to continue to cook. salt in there for me so I'm gonna put some more in there right there put it in let's put it back on the blender okay I have to switch out blenders oh problems because I have it I'm gonna put some cilantro in here and I and some parsley I just washed this parsley off so Put that in there also. And wash off some dill and put some dill in there. I'm beginning to realize that sometimes more expensive things are not better. The Ninja worked. Our Vitamix is kaput, but it's under warranty, so I can turn it back in. Try to get a better one or a new one because the Ninja is old. This thing is old. I've had this thing forever. Vitamix, less than five years. So I'll be giving them a call tomorrow. Should have just kept my, my uh, ninja. <laughs> I did keep my ninja. Thank God I didn't give it to the thrift store because the ninja is a trooper. All right. So I'm cleaning this thing off. Wash this. 
And let's scoop our green hummus out. Isn't that beautiful? I'll bring you all closer so you can see the beauty of this. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. And it tastes good. I put a little bit more salt in there off camera, but it tastes really good. If you want to put extra garlic, if you like garlic, put more garlic in there. I recommend that you put the parsley, the um, the coriander, excuse me, the parsley, the um, cilantro, and the um, you know, and the and the dill because that. That made a difference. Now look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna refrigerate this. I'm gonna have to, it's actually made two of them. So I'm gonna refrigerate this overnight and it should be even more delicious tomorrow. <laughs> it should be even more delicious and I have enough for another thing, for another container. So this is Jamaica 5288. This is mung bean hummus. And let me put some in my hand. See that? It might be better than chickpea. It's good. And tomorrow, I'm sure it's going to be way, way better. It always is the next day and the day after. So this is Jamaica 5288. I thank you guys for being with me. I'm going to fill another container because it made, apparently it makes two containers. And I'll see you tomorrow with something else. I don't know if it's going to be gardening or, you know, some vegan dish or some dish. You know, I'm all over the place. <laughs> this is a variety channel and I'm being a variety channel or a variety uh, person on my variety channel. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.